going to discuss a new feature called uh, pod identity the pod identity is recently released by aws and it is a way to uh, connect a pod uh, to an external world or or accessing aws resources so similar to ec2 instance profile pod can use uh, iam role to access aws resources instead of creating and distributing your aws credentials to the containers or using ec2 instance role you can associate an iam role uh, with a service account and configure your, your port to use the service account here in this uh, diagram we can see that uh, uh, we have a kubernetes cluster and i have uh, only taken the worker node here and inside the worker node there is a port running okay and uh, port we can associate a service account to the port if you have any doubt about the service account i have another video about the service account please go and uh, uh, refer that first and come back to this video so the service account internally is actually using an identity agent or or identity agent is actually a daemon set uh, we have to configure uh, we will go to that details when we go to the demo section uh, this identity agent will help you will help the uh, port service account to uh, assume an iam role uh, which is created in the iam identity center so when you are accessing uh, S3 bucket or any, any other AWS services, this particular uh, service account internally assume this IAM role, which is assigned to the port, will have access to the resources within the, uh, the, the AWS services. Is uh, port identity is actually a new feature? No, there, is, there was another feature called uh, IAM role for service account. So how or what is the difference between these two? The IAM role for service account was actually using an OIDC provider behind the screen. So when you create a uh, IAM role for service account uh, and uh, the, uh, the service account require or, or IAM role require a uh, trust relationship. That trust relationship is connected to the OIDC provider. So as you know, each and every Kubernetes cluster require different different OIDC provider. So when you create a uh, Kubernetes cluster or or I, IAM role for a Kubernetes cluster and trust an OIDC provider you cannot reuse that IAM role for a different uh, Kubernetes cluster say for example in your account you have multiple IAM uh, sorry multiple uh, Kubernetes cluster and you order to reuse the IAM role across the uh, Kubernetes accounts <clears throat> that is not possible here you have to create multiple roles and assign the uh, associated uh, uh, permissions to those roles and then assign each Kubernetes service with a different different uh, role but in the case of uh, pod identity IAM role is actually assuming uh, or, or uh, trusting the ports.eks.amazonaws.com so basically it is assume or it is trusting pod uh, across all the Kubernetes cluster so here you don't need to uh, create separate IAM role uh, for each uh, Kubernetes cluster Moreover, there is no uh, connectivity through OIDC. Here in this case, the service account is directly assuming the IAM role and there is no intermediary here. So that is the difference between IAM role for service account and the pod identity. And the pod identity is the new feature and it is very uh, easy to set up. Let's go and uh, review the demo. Let's log into the AWS account and uh, review our setup first and then we'll uh, go to the installation process or the setup process. So we have a, a cluster called a demo cluster and uh, on the demo cluster I have uh, one node group and uh, that node group has one EC2 instance running. So first what we'll do is we'll uh, install an uh, Nginx server and try to access an, uh, an um, AWS resources as shown in the uh, PPT we will see the we will try to access the S3 bucket and see the result and then we will set up the uh, pod identity and then we will access the uh, S3 bucket again and see whether we will get access without configuring any uh, IAM identity in the uh, pod. So before uh, <clears throat> before going to the uh, installation process we have to do three steps in order to uh, set up the pod identity correctly. First, we need to set the pod identity agent on the EKS cluster. Second, we need to configure a, a service account or, or even an IAM role 
to assume that I am role or to assign that I am role with the uh, service account and then configure the port to use the service account. So let's go and uh, take the first step that is uh, setting up the port identity. So setting up a port identity or even before going to the port identity, let's check the, uh, let's install the Nginx server and see whether we are having access to the S3 bucket. So let's go to the S3 bucket. So here I have a, a demo S3 bucket and uh, I don't have any details inside, but I just wanted to check whether I have access to this S3 bucket. Yeah, that's it. So let's go to the EC2 instance. So we can connect to the EC2 instance through uh, session manager. Uh, if you have any uh, doubt on connecting to the session manager, I have a video. Please go and uh, we check that one. Let's connect to the EC2 instance first. So I have set up the EKCTL and uh, AWS CLI on this one, uh, on this uh, EC2 instance, so I can access the Kubernetes cluster. So I have one node. So let's install a port, uh, Nginx port into this one. Let's name it as Nginx. Image is equal to Nginx. Sorry, kubectl. Let's review that. So when you create a, uh, a deployment into the default uh, uh, namespace, uh, as you know that there is a service account created even for the default namespace, that service account will get assigned to the Nginx. We'll be using the service account to connect to the IAM role uh, to use the port identity to access the S3 bucket. Let's see whether our uh, port is running. Yeah, so port is running. So we'll, what we will do is we'll get into the port and uh, install the AWS CLI and try to access it. Copy the port. Okay, so let's update the package. Let's review how we can install the port uh, AWS CLI. Let's go to the Linux section and uh, download the package. Even before downloading, we need to install uh, unzip. Install unzip. Let's try to check. Okay, so let's uh, run that one. AWS dash install. Okay. Now we can check uh, AWS S3 LS. Okay, so you don't have access to the S3 bucket because uh, you don't, you didn't assign or we didn't assign uh, an IAM role with the service account yet. So we will go and uh, assign the service account even before that one. We have to set up the port identity. So let's come to the access section and uh, on the access section we can uh, set up the port identity. Let's create a port identity from here. I'm oh, sorry, even before that one, we have to add add-on. So that is the port identity agent. So let's come to get more add-ons. So install the port identity, select the port identity agent and then install it. You can go to the, select the default version, that is fine, and install it. Let's wait for that installation to complete. So let's go to the Kubernetes cluster and see what is actually happening. So 
so it is actually created a pod identity agent see this you can see this pod identity agent is actually running now okay now next step is you need to create an uh, iam role so let's go and uh, create an iam role let's go to the role uh, create a new role select the aws service as uh, eks on the service details use case you need to select eks pod identity this is because on the trust relationship it should add the pod as a trust okay so here i am using s3 uh, full access uh, this is just for the demo but make sure you are uh, using the restricted access and uh, i am creating this as a pod uh, identity agent okay let's create the role so the role is created now let's come back to the ec uh, eks cluster and uh, create the uh, uh, assign this uh, role to the uh, kubernetes cluster and the pod or, or the service account for that one you need to come to the pod as identity association then click on the create select the role okay let's yeah select the role because you have the trust relationship to the pod identity it will automatically come up here if you have multiple then it won't auto select it will assign, ask you to select one but here i have only one i it is automatically selected so the same, same namespace I'm actually using default and as you know that when you create a, a, a namespace it, it automatically create a service account here I'm selecting the default service account in the in our the the deployment which is created is actually on the default service account so uh, internally it will be using this uh, service account and uh, uh, and then that service account will be using this IAM role let's create it let's wait for some time and uh, that is being created that is actually the setup so then once you set it up then you need to recheck that one so even before going that one let's review the uh, pod uh, uh, yaml file once see here uh, in in the pod uh, identity you will be able to see that uh, it is using a service account called uh, default see here even though we have not configured uh, any any uh, service account details by default for all the pod if you are not specified a service account name it will take the default service account so now we have set up the the iam role to use the iam identity or sorry pod identity on the default service account so this is getting assigned now let's review whether you have access to but uh, when i was actually trying this on the on, on the demo instance it was actually not working we have to restart the uh, port to use this iam uh, role but let's review that one let's check whether i have uh, access to the see i don't have access yet so let's do one thing Let's delete this PO uh, 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 port. So this will automatically create another port and let's get into that particular port and then install AWS CLI and try to access it. Let's copy the installation process. Let's install this.
see that you can now access the s3 bucket this is how you can set up the pod identity and uh, assign the pod identity uh, with the service account and access the aws resources thank you for watching the video if this video is beneficial for you please consider subscribing this